Well, the major thing is that we've got to make things intuitively obvious. And it turns out that people know how to do a lot of things already. In other words, if you walk into a typical office, there's all these, there's stacks of paper on the desk, and um, the one on the top is the most important, and people know how to switch priority, right? And people know how to deal uh, with concurrent things going on at once. They're constantly switching between things every few minutes. And they know how to deal with interruptions. The phone rings, they get an urgent message. And so what we've got to do is leverage off what people already know how to do. And part of the reason we model our computers on these metaphors that already exist out there, like the desktop, is because we can leverage all this, this, this experience that people already have, and they intuitively just take to it like water. The second thing we do is, right now, when you buy an application, each one works differently. In other words, not only do you have the specific knowledge about the application to learn, but it, it interacts with you through the computer differently than the last one. The word processor, you move the cursor around this way. Visit calc, you move it around another way. And, and what we've got to do is make it so that when you learn how to use one application, all the rest of them work in pretty much the same way. And to come up with a general mechanism, we spent a lot of time coming up with a general mechanism that was so powerful that there was not one type of program where it wouldn't be perfect for it. We think we did that. We think we absolutely did that. And so in trying to make some consistency throughout the system, we can leverage the learning.